What is the one thing that good auditionees do really well? Well, I think that, again, that confidence is really the first thing. But for them to step on stage and kind of control the room, to own the room, to say, here I am, I'm prepared, I'm talented, I know who I am and what I'm doing, and I can't wait for you to hear it. Don't apologize. Want them to be professional. I'm looking for great people, and I want them to come out and say, I'm a great person, you're gonna be glad you hired me. Oh my gosh, well there are so many, but <laughs> um, a good auditionee will be authentic. Again, they'll, they'll bring themselves into everything that they'll do, and they'll also be prepared. They'll also know exactly why they're in your audition. They'll know what type of material to have. They won't just pull out something that they think they can do. They'll pull out something that they've worked on, that they're prepared on, and they are ready to be a star doing it. It's doing your homework, having everything ready before you step in the room. There are so many factors once you step in a room that are out of your control. You can't do anything about being the wrong height. You can't do anything about being a brunette when we're not gonna wig people and we need a blonde. I mean, and those aren't things performers should worry about. Performers should worry about being the best them that they can be. They should do all their homework leading up to it so that when they walk in, they are confident, they're prepared, they're professional, they're someone I want to work with. That's a huge thing for me, is being someone I want to work with. And then everything else is out of their control. And if they are their best them in that moment, that's all they can do. They would come out with confidence, honestly. I mean, just coming out like you know this is gonna go great, that you know you're a wonderful performer from the second that you walk onto that stage, that, that I know that you are engaged and I'm seeing who you are as well as the character you're portraying because we're all gonna do it differently. Yeah. But I wanna see that, that confidence that you know what you're doing. Fit the time. You have to fit the time. It's a very clear setup. Um, the schools that teach to the time clock and figure out how to make it work that's, it just, you just look better. For us, um, it's really being prepared and reading the audition and the casting breakdown. Um, I use this as an example, you know, we're always looking for pop rock vocalists. Um, so for our auditions, um, you don't want to just come in and sing some operatic song because we don't, we don't have any shows that showcase that. So that's an example of doing your homework, seeing, okay, this is the company I'm auditioning for. What are they looking for specifically for this specific audition? Um, so that is something I really strongly encourage everybody to do is really do your homework as far as who you're auditioning for, find out, see what shows they do, um, and then definitely stick to that casting breakdown so that you come in prepared. First, first and foremost, come prepared. <laughs> yeah. That's very important to come prepared and, and to, um, and once again for me, it's to connect with the song. Really uh, portray what you're, what you're getting across. What, try to sing, don't just sing notes. Sing the song and act out the song. Also know what you're auditioning for. Yes. There are so many people who come in and, and I understand this feeling. It's there, you haven't researched exactly the show. What are all the roles? What does the ensemble require? Or in our case, because we're a cruise line, we have a plethora of, of shows. Some are review shows, some are Broadway musicals. Um, so you need to research who you're auditioning for and what we may be needing. Um, and target yourself to those auditions that we do rather than just thinking oh, I'll just show up and and do whatever do my thing be me Target to what we're doing those who do that really become much more successful and we hire them uh, They select material that is appropriate to their type or and vocal quality especially and then they speak it with honesty and with realizations that just carry me into that world. They're not pushing, they're not trying to make me listen, they're not telling me a joke, they are honestly sharing the story of the moment that's in their monologue, and then that carries into and transitions into their song. I think it is rehearse the entire audition, not just the material. 
they're coming in. If you take too much time with the accompanist because you don't know how to explain your material, if you don't know how to enter the room, don't know where to stand, don't know what to do, all of that takes time out of a day that's very busy for the casting and directing team. Um, and so therefore they start to think about you maybe not in the best of light. They're wondering, well, is that a trend or is that just today? And you just go to a place you don't want them to go. You want them to look at your talent. You, you want them to see what you've prepared. And all of that stuff at the beginning and the end sometimes interferes with that. And, and as Mark mentioned, rehearsing your in, entire, you know, those 90 seconds is what you have, but rehearse everything about that. So it's the shoes you wear, especially for, for females. Don't wait until that morning of or the day before. These are fabulous heels and I'm going to put them on. Can you really walk in them? As simple as that sounds, you know, are you comfortable? Um, are you, do you have any physicality that is uh, involved in your 90 seconds? And really what does that look like? And what, what's the structure that you're going to be on? Is, is that, is that going to um, be conducive to the space that you're in so really think about the the entire picture what you're wearing you know your shoes everything and rehearse that you know several times before you you get into that space so that you're not fresh in any aspect know themselves uh, there's a lot of people who you see in this circuit in this region a lot of like I'm gonna be really hip so I'm gonna do something really edgy we're doing the music man we're doing you know, Mary Poppins. We're, there are 25 children's theaters here. There are, you know, touring companies that are out. We're not doing Oedipus. We're not doing Electra. We're, you know, so people come out and try to do something, but it's not their top. You look at their resume and it's like Marion and, you know, Marion the librarian, but then they're like dropping F-bombs all over the place and doing, and you're like, I don't even know who you are. So therefore I have a hard time placing you if I can't figure out if you know who you are comfortably in your skin. So I'm looking for auditioners that really know themselves well enough to show me everything they got, all of their colors right there, because that's what's engaging to me as an audience member. So I want that as well if I'm going to hire. In my opinion, a good auditionee knows that their material represents the kind of roles in which they would be cast. Um, I know the roles that I'm that I need to fill and obviously everybody auditioning is not going to fit into those categories and that doesn't matter what matters is that their individual audition represents them in a way that they'll be cast and so I love um, whether it's an audition whether it's uh, a performer that I can use in this season or not I love to see that an auditionee knows that their material represents um, a role or a show that somebody in the room could use them in? Well, I think there's several things. I think they project really well, I think they articulate very well, and I think they have just a glowing presence. You know, and it's that joy. It's that joy of we're doing what we love to do, we're going to be paid to do what we love to do, and so I think that kind of sets everybody else apart. Connect to the story they're telling, whether it's in a monologue or whether it's in a song have some kind of emotional connection so that we feel like it's important to them. That's what makes people compelling.